congratulations on, on everything. Uh, what was your reaction when you, when you found out? Because it's been doing pretty well, this one. Yeah, it's extraordinary. I mean, it's just it's another really great opportunity to, um, you know, to uh, uh, expose, you know, the subject and all the great people that worked on the film to a larger audience. Yeah. I mean, it's had such a great uh, cinematic platform as well, because it is a very cinematic documentary. But also, I guess you wanted to marry that with with the facts and the important stuff. I mean, was that a difficult process to, to make sure you did that? Yeah, I, you know, it's a long process, but you just keep, you know, working on it. I mean, it's just a wonderful project to be a part of. So um, and we just had such a great team that all contributed uh, to it. Just not unlike, you know, I mean, ours was a, a small part compared to what they were doing in 1969, you know, when you had hundreds of thousands of people all coming together. Um, but in a certain way, it kind of felt like that. We needed a, you know, a good solid crew of, you know, kind of nerds to, you know, look over and pour over things and, and make it into something. Yeah. And what's the reaction been from people that were involved back then, or people that are, were involved that are still alive? I can imagine they've had some great things to say about the, the movie because, it, again, it is very cinematic, but also the information and the facts were, were also important. Have you had good reaction from them so far? Yeah, I mean, the families are asked, and the astronauts, uh, we integrated them into the process very early on, so, uh, you know, probably the most terrifying moments of my life was to screen, you know, uh, scenes or show, you know, the, the film before anyone else uh, to Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins and the sons of Neil Armstrong. And, uh, but they, um, they've, they've just been so uh, gracious with their time and helping us out and also just to get, um, you know, things right. Uh, let's get, you know, uh, the accuracy. Uh, and not only them, it's also, um, you know, uh, all of the uh, mission specialists and the uh, engineers and the, the, you know, in the firing room and at Mission Control too. So it's been a wonderful experience. Yeah. And just finally, I mean, we're in a strange part of history and history is, you know, there's so many things happening in the world right now, but this is a very important part of human history. I mean, how important was it for you to tell this story now in 2020, given that technology has moved on so much over those years? Yeah, I mean, this was 50 years ago, you know, we, we set, uh, well, now it's 51 years. Uh, we set, you know, uh, first footsteps on, on another world for the first time. Uh, but I think there's many parallels into what was being done uh, back then and, and what's happening now. Um, you know, uh, we need to push on and, and branch out, um, but we also need to protect, uh, you know, our own spaceship here, uh, Mother Earth. So um, we all need to be good stewards of that. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad that I got to highlight, uh, you know, a place like NASA and obviously here it's, you know, European Space Agency and other governments around the world that are all on the front lines of, um, you know, contributing to uh, uh, fighting, you know, climate change and, um, and, and destroying what's happening here on the Earth. Uh, so it's just not about putting people out in the space, which is important too uh, for long-term uh, survival of the species, as they say, but also, you know, uh, knowing what's going on here. I just finally, I mean, as a filmmaker, I can imagine you, 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 we want to see the other documentaries in the, in the, in the, in the field. I mean, have you seen them? And because there's a, there's a lot of uh, history there to be learned that we should be learning right now that we've kind of not forgotten, but get to push to the side. And do you get to see those movies? And have you been impressed by what you've seen? Oh yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a space geek, but I'm also a movie geek first and foremost. So I, I see everything, uh, and just you know, being a large format filmmaker and. You know, having the theatrical experience, I think it's really great to see a lot of these documentaries on the big screen um, because they're being, uh, you know, photographed by amazing uh, cinematographers. Uh, the director's working now. There's really not a, a difference anymore between documentary and, and, and uh, fiction film. So, and you're seeing more directors that can cross the line. Uh, and that's reflected in just the amazing storytelling that's being done in nonfiction uh, film. So uh, all the nominees tonight, whether it's American Factory for Sama, The Great Hack, uh, Asif's film, uh, uh, Diego Maradona, uh, they're amazing work. So um, I'm just humbled to, you know, be in, uh, be in bed with them on this one. I wish you all the best tonight. Thanks so much for your time. Pleasure. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!